Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again today for Grace with Paul Gray. Taking a few days to use the acrostic smile, S-M-I-L-E, and we're using that to represent spirit manifesting inclusionary love for everyone. Smile. Manifest is the verb, which means to display or to show a quality or a feeling by one's acts or appearance, to demonstrate, to display something, show it, to present it, reveal it, indicate or make it plain or express it or declare it. We manifest something by the way we act, the way we appear, by what we say. Now, that quality or feeling that we manifest can be good or evil. Smiling alone displays and shows and exhibits and demonstrates and expresses joy, at least most of the time. Now, I know there can be a sardonic, senator, sinister smile, but that's certainly not what we're talking about here. This is where joy actually starts to come out from us, the inner joy that's part of the fruit of the Spirit, fruit of the Holy Spirit. Smiling alone just demonstrates the joy, it expresses the joy of the Holy Spirit of Christ in us. This is where there's a huge difference between religion and theology and doctrines and head knowledge that comes generally from what other people, man-made institutions have come up with, religious groups packaged in denominations and statements of faith and taught us as opposed to the actual living Christ in us, living as us. Unfortunately, many times religious people can seem pretty dour. I mean, anybody can seem dour, but sometimes, many times, religious people, of all people, can seem dour. And that's because I don't believe they know the truth, that God loves them and everyone else unconditionally, and God has included them and everyone else unconditionally. So manifesting, spirit manifesting inclusionary love for everyone is not us learning about Christ. It's not us working for Christ. It's not us trying to be like Christ. It's not even asking Christ to work through us. But it's actually Jesus himself, Christ himself, Mr. Grace, Mr. Love, Mr. Joy, manifesting as us. Spirit manifesting inclusionary love for everyone. And it starts with a smile, just a simple smile. And I'm going to be encouraging you every day, as I do myself, because this doesn't, uh, doesn't come naturally in the flesh, if you want to use that uh, human or that spirit. Uh, Bible term, it doesn't come natural for me to smile. I, I, I literally have to think about it. Now, I feel like smiling inside, but I've been programmed for so many years to not to, and, uh, and I can worry about things and stuff like that and just be off in a fog and not smile and be around people who really need an encouraging smile. And not just other people. I've found, and this is, this is amazing, it's mystical, if you will, but I found when I'm by myself, if I just think about it and smile, I feel better. I just feel better. I have more energy. I'm vibrating at a higher level. Uh, it, it seems to help me realize that God is with me. I mean, it just changes everything. So I don't want to beat this to death. I just want to encourage you today in the second part of this little five-part series to remember Spirit manifesting inclusionary love for everyone, just to smile. Tomorrow, we'll focus in on the inclusionary part of it. So, thanks, everybody. Oh, uh, by the way, did I mention? Smile. See you next time.